Well, welcome to Thoughts Can Change Your Life with me, Reverend Lee. Today, I want to ask you this. Who's pulling your strings? Are you a puppet? And is there a string attached to you from many, many, many directions? And maybe one string is your mother, one string is your father, one string is your partner, one string is your children, one string is your friends. And they're pulling you in every direction you can imagine. And you're trying to follow their lead. And you're absolutely miserable. You're overwhelmed. And you don't know what to do. Well, the key thing, the simplest thing, is to cut those strings. What that means is not to care what other people think but rather to go within yourself and ask the question, who am I? Why am I here? And start being that person. And this shocked someone yesterday at live service. I was doing um, prayer with this individual. And in it, in the prayer, I said, There is no plan from God for you. The plan is in your heart. You get to discern it. And this person came to me after service and said, what do you mean there's no God's plan? I said, there is none because God gave you freedom. This thing we call God, it's not a being. It's infinite intelligence that's recreated itself, individualized as you and I. And it gave each of us the freedom to choose everything or anything that we desire. So there is no divine plan other than the divine plan that you set for your life. And when you start to embrace that, you realize then religion is not pulling your strings. Your parents are not pulling your strings. I got a plan for you. Hey, I had a plan for my kids. Thank God they found their own way. Thank God they listened to one of the things that I taught them was to think for themselves and to realize that whatever it is, they'll find it. Now, as a father, that's not, that's not easy for me because I think I know what would have been best for my kids, but I really didn't. I only thought I knew what was base, best based on my own perception and my perception is not theirs. And so I gave them, I cut my string that I had on them. I let it go. Be whatever you choose. Do whatever lights your heart up. The question I'm going to ask you is, can you cut the strings that are pulling you so that you can free yourself to be you? Can you cut the strings on your partner so that you can stop trying to pull their strings and trying to control them or your children? You see, When we try to control someone, we're so out of the state of love that it's just impossible to express. If you're looking for that other person to please you and you're doing everything you can to get that, you're going to be miserable. And that's not why we're in relationships. Not in the least. We're in relationships for one reason, to support and grow each other, to share and to have fun. Those four items, that's it. That's everything. Support, grow, share, fun. Support, grow, share, fun. That's why you're in a relationship. And you choose that relationship based on your chemistry. Do you like each other? Are you attracted to each other? Can you accept each other? It all starts with acceptance. We think it starts with like, but like only gets us so far. Physical attraction only gets us so far, but if we can accept our partner as they are and like them and be physically attracted, wow. So if that sounds interesting to you, know I'm doing a free workshop Saturday. It's got the link there in the description. It's called uh, creating your, thinking you're creating a fulfilling relationship. You're welcome to join me. All you gotta do is go to the link and you register and you'll get a Zoom link sent to you. 
It's one of those intensives that I like to do to share more wisdom than I do here, more focused wisdom than I share here. Here I want to bring to you, what am I thinking about today? And today I, I just watch people and I watch how they're so controlled by everyone around them. They're so worried about being a people pleaser. I want you to know, if you want to be in my life and you want me to be a people pleaser for you, we're not going to have a very long relationship because I'm going to bust that right away because I am not going to people please you. I'm going to be Lee, the Lee that I've uncovered, the Lee that is still unfolding, the Lee that likes to live life to the very fullest. And I am at a point in my life where I really don't care what anyone else thinks of my path. I listen. I don't care because the power in my life is me. The power in your life is you. And that's what it's about. If you haven't read my book, The Power in You by Revely Wallach, go on Amazon, pick it up. Paperback, Kindle, hard copy, audio book, pick it up. See what you think. 16 different chapters, very simple reading, all about the power in you and how to reclaim it and how to use it. I haven't said good morning to all of you out there, but thank you for ch checking in. I love seeing your names on the side. I can't tell you. And I love when you comment. I love when you talk to each other. This is not just watching me. This is your interaction with me and with the other people that are watching right now and that we'll watch later. So do, do connect. Do whatever, do that voodoo that turns you on. Heidi said, love the book. So Heidi, can I um, ask you a favor? If you haven't, would you please go back on Amazon and give me a five-star review on the book? I would love that. Now, if you don't think it was a five-star review, don't write a review. <laughs> I'm really clear on what I'm asking, aren't I? Because that's one of the main tenets of being in a relationship. You have an agreement with your partner that you will ask for what you want when you want it. And guess what? It takes all the guessing. You never have to read your partner's mind again. Because if they're not asking, you're not responsible. I like simplicity. I like easy. And anything I can do to make my life easier, to make it more automatic, I'm choosing that. Because guess what? How aware are we? Are we aware 10% of the day? No. That means we're aware what? 24 hours, 10%, 2 hours and 40 minutes? You're not aware that much. Neither am I. We're lucky if we're aware 10 minutes of the day. So the best thing we can do is what? Create habits that we've chosen from awareness so that we're actually doing things unconsciously or subconsciously that are aligned with where we want to go. That's just an additional little thing I, I'll throw in today. So who's pulling your strings? Does it matter? Cut those cords and start being the one who's the master of your life. A master is the one who directs their life. And I want you to know there's no other master in your life but you. Because only you know what's right for you. Go make this your best day ever. Know that you're loved right here, right now, by me. And that. God is pulling our strings. I'm going to tell you real. There is no God pulling your strings. I'm going to say something very bold. God doesn't care what you do because God loves you, which means it accepts you and it's giving you the freedom, the perfect freedom to create your magnificent life without judgment. God cannot judge if God is love. Think about it. Have a great one, everyone. Aloha. Thank you.